Well, here is the good question. What is the similarities between humans and the robots? Uh, in specific, the robot Asimo. Asimo is, uh, yeah, some of the smartest robots. And uh, I had this question a uh, long time ago, but I, by some strange reason, I'm coming back to this question. And, uh, well, I see some similarities. There is a, a the software for Azimu, there is a blanks in the software. There's a, a blank areas, blank code. When they write the software, they leave blank spaces. And B, this is A, and B, the coder or whoever is the creator of the code uh, says B as, as well, B is, it lets Azimu to get environmental feedback and then do something else. Like, okay, so uh, the first Azimu software is composed by leaving blanks in the code and B let Azimu get the environmental feedback and then do something else. This is so-called example of cognitive scaffolding. Cognitive scaffolding is also, I guess, <laughs> based on uh, Ray Cruzway, it's also cognitive scaffolding, whatever Ray Cruzway is explaining in his theory. I guess that is a, a cognitive scaffolding. And uh, also I see similarities because, is this a question <laughs> or uh, my comment? So, well, in the DNA, there is an empty blank code. The scientists do not know, they call it a junk, junk DNA. Well, we have to ask uh, Craig Venter about this. Uh, maybe he's the guy to know. It's just an idea. I will have to research that. Does Craig Venter know what is the, the blank, the junk, the junk genes, or, uh, or uh, this is an old concept? Is it the old concept, junk genes? However, if this is true, I see a similarity between Asimo coding and the human coding. Let's say the gene code is the code of life, and if there is a blank space, therefore, just therefore, <laughs> maybe that is not the right conclusion, but uh, maybe our creators left the junk. That is the question in scientists' heads. They are thinking what this junk DNA could be. Well, I don't know what is the amount of the junk. I guess it's pretty huge percentage. I think it's like, I don't know. I, I might be wrong, like 90, 90 something percent. That, uh, that it looks like uh, that our creators left a big, a big um, gap. They leave a big gap, so I guess this is our self-development, kind of uh, using uh, the cognitive, our cognitive abilities, uh, using our cognitive scaffolding, we kind of, uh, this this information of course comes from the environment and some from within I don't know what is it yet <laughs> and uh, that's my question what's the similarities between uh, Asimo code writing and uh, genetic code of a human being I don't think I clearly stated these two ideas but i hope that someone smarter and with more information can uh, jump on this and you know get some conclusions as well thank you and subscribe yeah you have to subscribe to this channel channel of questions